hi love welcome back in today's class we are making this long beautiful dress if you are new to the channel my name is miss Ai, and you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you my love thank you darling for always coming back let's get right into class I'm going to be using a 4.5 hook my puppy chilled it and it's my favorite one so i'm using it anyways yeah yeah yarn i'm going to be doubling my strand your scissors dining needle and a stitch marker to begin with you are going to make a slip knot and we are going to start our work with single crochet so the foundation we are going to start so begin off chain two insert your stitch marker at the second stitch that is the first one so you can decide to insert it through um, both of your second leg of your first chain or the back loop so you would have something like this you have to yarn over pull through two and yarn over and make a single crochet so that is our first single crochet now we are going to insect again at the leg we pull through you would have to yarn over and make a single crochet insect again at the two leg and also you can insect inside the two leg all together or you can insect in the back loop whichever way works perfectly so keep doing this until you have your desired length measuring shoulder to shoulder however if you want it big you can go ahead and add a few extra rows but make sure this you are working in odd numbers not even so it should be one three five so end with a, an odd number and i'm going to go ahead and make 99 and i'll meet you when i'm done with my foundation single crochet so i'm done and row two you are going to chain one and you are going to turn your work and inside the first stitch you are going to make a single crochet chain two and four double crochet all in the same stitch one two three and four you are going to skip three one two three and inside the fourth stitch you are going to make a single crochet and chain two and four double crochets all in the same stitch one two three and four You are going to skip three again one two three and inside the fourth stitch you are going to make a single crochet chain two and four double crochets all in the same stitch you are going to repeat this until the end of the row so keep doing this skipping three make a single crochet chain two and four double crochets all in the same stitch and i'll meet you at the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to skip three and inside the last single crochet you are going to make a single crochet chain three and turn your work you are going to make four double crochets in that very first stitch that single crochet space so one two three and four all in the same stitch the single crochet space now we are going to skip over and inside the chain two space we are going to make a single crochet chain two and four double crochets all in the same stitch where we made uh two single crochets we are going to place all in the same we cross over to the next two 
chains and make a single crochet chain two and four double crochet this is pretty much the pattern so you're going to do this until the end of the row so make a single crochet chain two and repeat this until the end of the row so make your four double crochets all in the same stitch at the end of the row you are going to make a single crochet in that chain two space you are going to chain three again turn your work and you are going to place four double crochets in the same stitch and this is pretty much the pattern for our work keep repeating this until you have your desired length for the dress and i'll meet you when i have mine i'm going to be making a long dress so i'll repeat this for 70 rows and i'll meet you when i have my 70 rows This is my 70 rows and this is what the work looks like now. So we are going to be doing a um, neckline and we are going to be switching to our next color or we will be blending our orange color. So before we do that, I've divided my work into two. So I have 10 from this side, the right side and 10 from the left side and I've placed my stitch marker in the middle. So make sure you get your middle, the exact middle and now I'm going to count three from the middle and place my stitch markers on both sides. So this is where we are going to be changing um, or going to be adding our orange color. So I've worked until where the stitch marker is. Now we are going to be switching our orange color and work that row. So now, just as we were doing, nothing has changed. The only different thing is we are going to be introducing our orange yarn or a second a secondary color. You can choose not to do this if you don't want to. If you don't want to, just work with your one color. And this is the middle. So we are going to switch to our orange inside the chain two space just before our stitch marker and make sure you secure the yarn and you are going to chain two so this is uh counts as a single crochet so you are going to chain two and place four double crochet all in that chain two space and we are going to cross over to the chain two space the chain two just after the stitch marker so you see now our middle our stitch marker in the middle would be at the center so one from this side the right side and one from the left side if you understand so you are going to make your single crochet chain two and four double crochets all in the same stitch so this is row one of our uh, orange row so we are going to switch now we are going to switch to our uh, color our original cream color and you are going to chain two and make your four double crochets all in the same stitch and you are going to work until the end of the row at the end of the row chain three and come back until 
you at where the orange lane is again and we shall continue our work so we've worked back and the stitch just before we get to our orange you are going to switch and make a single crochet chain two and four double crochet all in the same stitch this is the chain two space before we will get to the orange we are making we are making our chain two and four double crochets we are increasing one in each row so this one would have three of the orange stitches so we are going to make our single crochet in the chain two space and make our four double crochets three and we are going to make our single crochet in the chain two space nothing has changed right and chain two and make four double crochets the only thing we are introducing is a secondary color and we are aside that nothing has changed and we are placing it in the middle of our work so after your four double crochets you are going to ins make a single crochet but this time you are going to be switching to our original color so just make two and pull our original color through so as you can see we are working our original color through the the work we are just carrying it along and continue making your four double crochets and single crochet chain two and four double crochets until the end of the row work till the end and come back and i'll meet you there so just a stitch before the orange stitches is where you are going to switch to your secondary color and make chain two and make four double crochets in the same stitch so the first row we have two stitches of orange the second we have three so this time we are going to get four this is our first one you are going to make a single crochet chain two four double crochets Now in the next stitch, you are going to make a single crochet in the chain 2 space. Chain 2 and make 4 double crochets all in the same stitch. Now to the last stitch, you are going to make your single crochet chain two and make four double crochets in the stitch in the same stitch and now we are going to switch to our original color and we are going to make a single crochet switch with a single crochet chain two and four double crochets so this is what we are going to be doing so each stitch we each row we would add a stitch each row we would add a stitch and keep doing this until you have 14 rows of increase this is my 14 rows completed and this is what the work looks like and we have 12 in the middle and we have four at the other side and you will notice that the left side would be five but don't worry um because we didn't go to the other side so that place would be shots of one but you don't have to worry about that now we are going to divide this 12 into two so we are going to count five five on both side and we are going to place our stage marker so the middle would be only two stitches so this is what you should do because we are going to be leaving that space the middle space we are not going to be working there so 
we are going to stop increasing and we are going to be working straight rules for both sides so make your first four double crochets in the chain two space now you are going to make your single crochet in the next stitch so the stitch where the orange row starts before you switch to the orange and chain two and make four double crochets in the same stitch so what you realize is the primary color has covered one of the the orange row and you are going to keep making your single crochet chain two four double crochets in each chain two space until you get to the green stitch marker when you get to the green stitch marker you are going to make your last one so make a single crochet chain two and place four double crochets in the same stitch chain two and place four double crochets in the same stitch now you are going to take off your stitch marker and make a single crochet in the chain two space in your next stitch and you are going to chain three and turn your work and this row is our straight row so we are going to make four double crochets in the chain um the single crochet space just as we've been doing for the size of our work so place four double crochets and you are going to be taking your original yarn or original color with you as you go so make your single crochet in the next stitch chain two and place four double crochets and you are going to do this to cross your orange row and we shall switch to our original color you are going to switch to your primary color inside the first stitch of the primary color so you are going to make a single crochet and inside that first stitch you are going to switch your cream color and you are going to chain two and you are going to place four double crochets in the same stitch and you are going to work your primary color until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to chain three and work four double crochets and you are going to work until you are back to where you would switch to your orange color so i'm at where you switch to the orange color and the switching is always inside the first stitch so the first stitch you will just make your single crochet with the other color your first or your second depending on which side you are working from so at this side is the orange so you're going to work your orange rows until the end and the end is the same is straight so just a single crochet and you're you're chaining three and turning your work and you are going to work back again so this is what you are going to be doing until you have eight rows so keep switching until you have eight rows and i'll meet you when you have your eight rows but before let's work until the end of the row again so you would see i'll show you one more 
time before you go ahead and work your eight rows. So at the end you are going to switch at the very first so this is the end and you are going to switch to your primary color and the switching is always happening in the very first stitch okay, so you're going to work this until the end of the row you can decide to do more than eight rows you can do um 10 14 depending on how how long you want your color line to be so keep working until you have your desired length and i'll meet you but i worked eight rows so at the end of the row you are going to chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn i'm going to walk you through my last few rows before i cut and fasten my yarn so you would see clearly what i'm doing And this is my final row so I've worked to the end and back and at the end of my row you're going to chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn and this is one side completed and we are going to work the same exact thing for the other side of our work so turn your work again and attach your yarn so you are going to make sure you cut and fasten all loose ends and so begin you're going to take your stitch marker off and insert your your hook and pull through your yarn pull your yarn through the stitch that chain two space and you are going to chain two and you are going to make four double crochets in the same stitch So you can see our stitch marker, we left two stitches in the middle, but as you work, you realize it's only one because the two would be very wide. So you just have to make sure um, to take notes of that. After your four, you are going to make your single crochet in the next stitch and you are going to, this is how you are going to begin your other side of your work any other thing is the same as we did for the other side so you are going to keep working until you have the same amount of rows for your right side at the end of your orange stitches in the first stitch of your cream color you're going to make your single crochet and switch to your cream color or your primary color and you're going to chain two and make four double crochets in the same stitch so the reason why with this one we stretch one ahead is because at the end of the work you could see the other side which is this left side was lacking one stitch so that's the only reason why you just have to complete that one stitch before you start the row so now the beginning of every stitch is where you're going to make your single crochet and switch to your your color and switch your colors right so keep doing this until you have the same amount of rows you did for the right side and 
I'll meet you when I'm done with my eight rows. And after you are done with the front, this would be the end of the front, um, the front panel. You are going to make the same exact rows for the back panel. So our front panel was 70 plus 14 plus 8. So we are going to make the same amount for our back panel. You are going to make sure everything is equal and you are going to count your rows and work for the back panel. But before, we are going to leave our neckline. So with the neckline, I'll just count three stitches from the middle on both sides, the right and the left. So just count three stitches. But if you don't want to do this, just leave about 8 to 9 inches for your neckline. I left 8 inches for, I measured 8 inches for my neckline. So 3 stitches on the right side, 3 stitches on the left side, and the middle stitch is 1 stitch. So total will be 7 stitches in the middle. And this is what, it measures 8 inches. And now this is my back panel. So the last row for the back panel, we are going to be doing something little different. So we are going to leave the seven stitches we left for our front panel. So we are going to divide our work into two equal parts and leave your seven stitches in the middle. Just as we did for the front panel. The both sides, the other sides would be equal. The left and the right would be equal. And now you are going to cut and fasten your yarn. Join your yarn again after your, you've left your seven stitches. So join your yarn again and you are going to chain two, Three and make your four double crochets in the same stitch and work until the end of the row and this completes the back panel row. So with the back panel, I just decided to inculcate my orange yarn. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. So this is the back complete. Now we are going to be sewing the back and the front together. So place your work at the wrong sides. Let your wrong sides be facing you. And you are going to place it equal on each side. And the right side of the work should be um, behind or at the back. And the wrong sides should be, the wrong side should be facing you. You are going to attach your yarn. Attach it to both sides and you're going to chain two. And you're going to place four double crochets in the front panel. And in the back panel, you are going to place a single crochet at the chain two space. And at the chain two space of the front panel, you are going to place a single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets. Inside the back panel of the chain two space, you are going to make a single crochet, make a single crochet in the front panel, chain two, and make four double crochets. So this is the pattern for attaching our work the neckline of our work so you can see place a single crochet in the chain two space at the back panel the front panel make a single crochet chain two and four double crochets all in the same stitch and you're going to work until you get to the stitch marker space the stitch marker space you're going to make a single crochet both in the front and the back panel and after that, I don't want to cut and fasten off my yarn. 
so i'm going to work through by placing single crochet in each stitch of the back panel across to where the other stitch marker the beginning of the other side so just place single crochets in each stitch including the single crochet space all across and you are going to repeat the same exact thing for the other side for the left side of the work and at the end of the row you are going to chain two or one cut and fasten your yarn and this is what you should be having now we are going to be attaching the size of our work but before we are going to leave our armhole and with the armhole i left nine inches 8.5 to 9 and the, you can start attaching it at the side the end or you can choose to leave a space just as i did and with the space i measured 13 inches and started attaching my work and with the size of the work we are going to be attaching our work with single crochets so you're just going to make sure you make single crochets two single crochets in each stitch until the end or until where your armhole stitch marker is so keep making single crochets until you get to where your nine or eight inches where you place the stitch marker so at the stitch marker space, we are just going to go over and make one more round row for our armhole. But at this point, you can choose to make more than one row, but I'm only going to make a row. So chain two and make four double crochets in the same stitch. So take off your stitch marker so you can see clearly. So you see the single crochet space you are going to make four double crochets and you are going to make a single crochet in the after your four double crochets just cross to the other side of your work and place a single crochet where the single crochet space is chain two and make four double crochets all in that single crochet Cross to the next single crochet and make a single crochet. So we are working this row inside the single crochet spaces. So inside the single crochet spaces, you are making single crochet chain two and four double crochets. And you are going to do that all around until where you started from. And we get to the end of where you started from you are going to make a slip stitch on top of your work and you are going to chain two or one cut and fasten your yarn if you want to go more rows you are so free to do so you are going to do the same exact thing for the other side of your work and you are done with your work you're going to make sure you cut and fasten all loose end and i'll put this on the mannequin so you can see how it looks like if you enjoyed the video please do leave us a comment under the comment section let us know what you think about the video until we meet next week in class it's bye bye